Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be checking out the engineering behind Formula Drift machines. I've been invited by Gumout, a Formula Drift sponsor and scientific leader in fuel additives, to explore how Von Gittin Jr.'s Mustang is capable of such impressive slides. There are several focal points for an ideal drifting device. Diving right into it, the engine used is a 410 cubic inch naturally aspirated Roush Yates V8. Running on 110 octane fuel, the engine produces around 840 horsepower and 740 foot-pounds of torque with a max engine speed of 9,000 RPM. There are some unique characteristics of the engine's cylinder head which allow for highly efficient flame propagation across the top of the piston. The pistons are flat topped while the cylinder head has somewhat of a kidney bean shape. Because the cylinder head isolates the combustion chamber to one side, as the piston moves up it forces the air fuel mixture to swirl in the open pocket. The result of the well-blended and turbulent air fuel mixture is very fast flame propagation and it helps allow for the engine's high compression ratio of 14 to 1 as little spark advance is required. You might wonder why over 800 horsepower is necessary. This allows for the car to drift at much higher speeds assuming the tires have enough grip. Engine power is sent through a 4 speed dog box transmission where it then travels to a winter's quick change rear differential to finally split the torque between the rear wheels. All of the gear length tuning is done through the rear differential, as gear sets can be swapped out very quickly and can adjust the engine RPM for a given gear within 100 to 200 RPM. The goal here is that worst case, Von Gittin Jr. will only have to make a single gear shift during the race, aside from bringing the vehicle up to speed, and minimizing shifts will minimize the room for error. Moving on to the suspension, this is where things might seem slightly counterintuitive at first. If you're building an amateur drifting rig, you may think you need a stiff rear suspension, hard tires at high pressures. This couldn't be further from the truth if you're attempting to do this at the professional level. The strategy of this team is soft springs for increased mechanical grip while using the roll bars and dampers to fine tune the balance of the car. This year the team runs a McPherson strut up front with a three link live rear axle. However, they will soon be moving to an independent suspension in the rear once they change over to the new Mustang. As far as tires are concerned, the team runs Nitto NTO 5 275 over 35s up front with 295s over 40 in the rear. The team chose this street legal compound as it was the stickiest tire compound they could legally run to maximize grip. On top of sticky tires, both the front and rear tires run at lower air pressures than you'd find in a factory Mustang, with the rear tires even lower than the front. Once again, this is to maximize the friction coefficient of the tire and increase mechanical grip. So why the soft suspension and wide sticky tires with low air pressure? The more grip the car has, the faster Von Gittin Jr. can drift the corners and the more control he has of the vehicle. You may have noticed the brakes are drilled, and this isn't something common in motorsport. In drifting, the amount of braking is low, and thus the amount of heat rejected into the brakes during a single run is quite low, so they can get away with using unvented drilled rotors without worrying about the stress risers causing cracks. The large drilled holes are there for weight reduction purposes. As far as aerodynamics are concerned, this is not a focal point for this team for two very logical reasons. First, the cars are often not driving at speeds high enough to have heavy influences from aerodynamic features. Second, as the goal is to get the car fairly sideways, Ways, you can see how optimizing the airflow for the car front to back would minimize the effectiveness of the aerodynamic features while sliding. In order to do this really effectively, you'd want to have active aerodynamics that could take advantage of which direction the car is drifting, but this would only add further cost and complexity to an already expensive and elaborate endeavor. All of the features of this car are kept to a very light package. With the car only weighing about 2,830 pounds, it has the same power to weight ratio, if not slightly better, than a Bugatti Veyron Supersport. Overall, the team likes to use the analogy that this is a 9 second car set up for a dirt track race. Horsepower and mechanical grip are both extremely high. Von Gittin Jr. has been professionally drifting since 2004 and has a decorated history in the sport. Huge thanks to Gumout for bringing me out to the event. To better understand the science behind their fuel additives, you can check out links in the video description, as well as my own content analyzing the active chemical ingredients found within. As always, feel free to leave any comments and questions below. Thanks for watching.